As a fiscal tool, governments may need to improve and seek ways to incentivize voluntary tax compliance as application of force would achieve very little result, albeit the incentives will need to be tied to evidence of good tax standing. While it may be difficult to ascertain the exact level of tax gap in most developing countries, studies show that most developing countries collect between 10% and 20% of their GDPs as tax revenue compared to other OECD counterparts who collect between 30% and 40%. In Nigeria, the ratio of non-oil tax revenue to GDP is far below 10%, which makes Nigeria's case even worse than most developing countries. Now to discuss this with me is Dr. Suleiman Ndanusi, Ndanusa, co-chair NESG Fiscal Policy Roundtable. Thank you so much for joining me, Dr. Suleiman. My pleasure. Certainly. Now, what is the rate of compliance with respect to tax payment of Nigerians? Uh, it's pretty low uh, because there is a very low tax morale in Nigeria. The rate of compliance is low. And that has been proven by the survey conducted by the Fiscal Policy Roundtable of the NESG Nigeria. Now, how well would you say that... Um, now, how well each person enjoys social service and public infrastructure is not a function of how much tax you pay. Hence, people would avoid paying if they can. However, this is a necessary means for governments to finance you know, everything it needs to finance. How can tax morale of Nigerians be built? Uh, uh, thank you very much. You know, tax is definitely critical for national development. Uh, it uh, prompts demand for social exchange. It is a basis for social contract between the people and the government. And then, of course, it strengthens uh, political accountability between citizens and government. Now, when, when there is low tax morale, uh, obviously the tax collection will be very low. And some of the reasons, according to our survey, that is the Fiscal Policy Roundtable, has discovered that uh, the complexity of the tax system itself uh, it's, uh, makes, discourages tax payments. And then the fact that they, there is no solid social contract and accountability between citizens and government. Therefore, citizens believe that even if they pay, they don't see anything tangible, no road infrastructure, no health infrastructure, etc. And therefore, the citizens do not see any basis to pay tax. And then, of course, uh, there are things, issues of legitimacy, issues of also trust between uh, uh, the government and the citizens. Also, the complication of multiplicity of taxes is so mundane, so complex, that uh, it makes tax payment very difficult uh, and very complex in Nigeria. And then, of course, uh, since uh, inconsistent policies and unrealistic targets are given, even the tax officers complain. So generally, there are mosaic of issues and problems that cause uh, morale, and that really affects the amount of tax uh, that is collected in Nigeria, even though it is so critical for our development, because uh, if you don't pay tax, you obviously do not expect that uh, you will meet all the requirements. And uh, that is why the whole essence of the fiscal policy roundtable, that is to, 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 to cause reforms to be made in the area of policy, administration of tax, taxation, and also some necessary legislation. Uh, basically, those are the processes that are being promoted and being championed by the Nigerian Economic uh, Summit Group. All right, finally, before I let you go, how can the Nigerian government be more prudent in spending its tax revenues, at least to encourage taxpayers? That is very, very important because it's not just collection of taxes. It is also how you expend the taxes. And, of course, the, uh, uh, the, the, the transparency and accountability of how those uh, taxes collected are improved. So definitely the citizenry will want to see the, how the taxes collected are used, uh, what for, and how prudently they are used. Mm -hmm. They want to see a corruption-free usage or utilization of uh, taxes collected. Uh, therefore, utilize, uh, revenue utilization, a tax expenditure and accountability is very, very uh, paramount. And that is one of the areas that actually indicates uh, a very low morale to the taxpayer because he feels that the taxes collected or the revenue from taxes are not prudently utilized. The tax expenditure, the cost of collection itself 
it's kind of uh, uh, not uh, very accountable and transparent. And therefore, unless we improve in those areas, uh, definitely the morale of the taxpayer, both institutions and also individual taxpayer, will continue to be low. And that is exactly what NESG is championing that uh, we must improve in the tax administration, tax transparency, policies that will engender high tax morale so that people can pay voluntarily, and also it is simplifying the administration of the tax system in Nigeria. We Thank also you so need much, some Dr. Suleiman. So, Thank yeah. you so much. As a result of time, that's all we can have. But thanks for joining us on the news. My pleasure. Thank Certainly. you. Certainly.